Hello, and welcome to the unboxing of the Rode Video Micro. My name is Adam Culp. The box has some nice aesthetics. It's decorated nicely around the front and the sides, and good information on the back. Yeah, the box top was a little bit fragile, ripped pretty easily. That's all. Hmm. Yeah, the mic was already in the dead cat. I didn't expect that. I thought the dead cat and the mic would be separated, and then you'd have to insert it afterwards. That's held pretty well in. You can feel it scratch as it pulls out. Just about the length of a finger. <laughs> I thought it would be shorter. I thought it would be smaller. But it has a very good solid feel. Nice metal screen on the front and, or, and top keep things from damaging. Uh, inside there's a scratchy material, almost like a scratchy pad that you would use for washing pots and pans and uh, cut down on some noise, I would think. The registration card for to uh, register at road so you get the two-year warranty. Hmm, the shock mount feels a little bit plasticky. Feels kind of cheap feels sturdy, but at the same time, the plastic just has a cheap feel to it. But uh, I'm sure it'll be sturdy enough. Oh, two cables. I was only expecting one. Uh, this cable is TRS to TRRS, allowing for connection to mobile devices or headphone jacks or headset jacks. Let me put this where you can see it better. <laughs> Uh, and then there's the, uh, also the TRS to TRS connection for standard uh, microphone connectors. The manual. Quite a bit of content in the manual. A lot of a lot of description there. <laughs> Multiple languages. Pretty flexible, not too bad. And uh, the idea is to put it on and slide it up until you get to the groove. There's a groove specifically the, the same size as the shock mount to hold it nice and steady. Now notice that the road logo is toward the top, and that's uh, the way it's supposed to be. That way the microphone has openings on the sides that prevent side noise from getting distracting. So it's important that however you mount the mic into the shock mount, you want to make sure the road logo is toward the top. As I put on the dead cat, there's a little rubber washer inside, and uh, you want to make sure that you push that until there's a little lip that catches on a groove in the microphone. So you want that you want that little lip to get in that groove to hold the dead cat stable. And of course, we put the cable on. There's also little notches in the wheel. As you can see, I'm inserting the cable into the notches in the wheel. This prevents the mic from being too floppy inside the shock mount. 
So especially if you're doing moving around and using it on a camera, you want to make sure that you have that cord in the groove to prevent the 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 dead cat from hitting the top of a camera or something like that. Makes it pretty nice. All right, all ready for use. Thanks for coming by.